Hello everyone, welcome back for more Lemmings action. We're on Nightmare on Lim Street today. There are only two Lemmings in this level, and we have to save both of them. Which isn't that difficult, actually, if we just kind of synchronize their movements. We can actually build our way out of this entire level. Okay, yeah, they'll make it over with just one bridge. Just making sure on that. But yeah, we don't have to do any kind of special bashing or anything funky like that. We can just kind of make sure they're both lined up at the same time, building up to the exit. This is a pretty easy one, actually. All you gotta do is wait for one to stop building, listen for the shrug, and they'll both build up in their own little time. Pretty easy level right there. All, we, all I had to use was six builders. Very simple, very easy. I don't know why they thought it would be any harder dealing with two at once, as opposed to like 50, but I don't know. As my wife says, it is what it is, I guess. One lemming and two. Let's be careful out there. Or as Charles Barkley would say, let's be careful out there. They come out at a release rate of one in this level. You want to make a blocker right off the bat because that's too far to fall, obviously, without making them splat. I think he should be able to build enough steps so that that one is safe. Yes, and then go up the steps and wait until you get to like right here to make him a blocker because you don't want him going up through the step and thus through the blocker like they did last time, you know, with uh, old Mr. or what's his name. That one level, like six levels back or so. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Jackass McMustache, if I may steal a turn of sulfur phrase. Oh my god, he built at the edge of the step and now they can't get up. Okay, try that then. That should work. Ah, but that makes a uh, that makes it pretty easy to make our way out of here, though. This guy has ample room to become a blocker over by the acid. Acid, yeah, that's great. You want to go swimming in that, obviously. And they'll just swim their way around and have a little fun in the acid pool before the exit. No. Let's go ahead and raise the release rate to 99. Because this is uh, moving way too slow, even for the patient taste of old Mr. Wheel. F6, I kind of dawdled there. That could have been a bit of a disaster, although he's by himself, so I could have recovered easily. And I could have been fancy. I could have dug from up here and tried to make them land directly in the exit. In fact, I may try to do that yet, because, you know, I'm just bored of these fun levels. Oh, God, they're all going to fall unless I make them all builders. Hee-hee. <laughs> okay, a couple of them died. Fun. There we go. Let's uh, let's try to get a let's try to get a few of them in the exit at least before I start trying to be Mr. Fancy Schmancy. Because if you fall onto the exit, no matter the height, you will survive. So I want to start from about here. Let's see if I can get just one lemming to do it. Let's see if he does it. Let's see if I could have just been brave and just shown off with all my hubris and whatnot. Because this is kind of glitchy, but you need to do it in at least one level to make it work. Watch him fall. Ah, oh, he made it in. He didn't splatter. I totally could have done it. That would have blown so many people's minds. Oh, maybe I will go back and do that sometime, like in a bonus video or something. Bye-bye, blockers. Oh, man. I really wish I had done that now. If only they could fly, huh? Well, wish in one hand, crap in the other, and see which one fills out faster. I don't know why you get 30 of everything this time. Is that is this level just that much more difficult for beginners than any others? Because all the rest, you only get 20 of everything, but I don't know. Okay, and now once we dig through here, we're going to have to make a guy block so that nobody walks off into the fiery lava, and boom. One will get past. If they're grouped together like that, if there's like two like that, you can make a blocker and one will pass by. So uh, that's also useful to know if you've got a bunch of lemmings just lumped together. Now here's how I like to do it, in this level anyway. So let's just start from about here. This will result in no head bumping, I don't think. And I think we should be able to uh, get to the top just fine. Doot, 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 doot. And now is about the time I need to start editing for... Uh, now is about the time I need to start editing to cut out crappy stuff like bridge building, so I'll be back toward the top of the bridge then. 
Well, it looks like I did this more or less perfectly. He's gonna get right up on the exit. Good to know that these old eyes haven't failed me just yet. I'm not even wearing my glasses right now. Boom, did it. Oh, oh, that is such the perfect angle. So let's blow up our guys now and have them walk up that nice little bridge. It's not flying, but it is the next best thing. Bonk. So then, he once he, we'll let this guy who just built the bridge survive. He did work hard after all, and we'll wait for him to get to the exit as well. He earned it. So let's blow up this blocker, and that's it for that level. We won't be able to do this next time because we don't get near the same amount of blockers. But I don't want to spoil anything too fast too soon. It's just that when I see these levels that get reused again, I think of the later level where you have to do it the hard way. And that is the solution that automatically starts coming to my mind. So, uh, sorry if I'm spoiling anything too soon for anybody. I'm trying to stay vague, but you know. Okay, I don't know what War Laura Lemmings means. I know what Lemmings means. I don't know what War Laura means. That may actually be gibberish for all I know. I'm older and wiser, I know what Konbanwa means, but Wara Laura is still just gibberish as far as I'm concerned. If anybody actually knows if that means anything, then uh, feel free to spoil it in the comments or something. But this is not a hard level. It will be hard later. Again, not trying to spoil anything, but this is yet another one that gets reused later. And uh, it's hard then, but it's easy now. So what I like to do is I like to, uh, let's see, well, I like to let my lemmings fall into a hole and bash through that staircase. Alright, we're just going to let him build up there. We have the technology to make this work right now, so uh, I'm not too worried about wasting builders. We get 30 of them. This is another one of those levels that they just think you're going to need a super lot of equipment for. And while, uh, while you do need quite a few builders to make this one work, uh, they are actually fairly generous with everything here so we're just gonna let them just kinda go on their way here but we are gonna try to keep one lemming ahead of the pack for the rest of the time once they get up this bit of stairs here alright I did it correctly now uh, F8 for bashing and now once they get I'm gonna keep the cursor right here so that the walker can go ahead and uh, so that a walker can go ahead and bash through the staircase so that they have longer to walk back when they hit up against the pyramid that's apparently under construction with all this steel and wooden scaffolding here. So now they have longer to walk, so that gives this guy some time to work. Unless they just ah, start coming back like that, that's what I was afraid of. Oh well, this won't be too difficult. We have 27 builders at our disposal. We should be able to manage this. Too bad how much is that doggy in the window is playing. This is one of the shortest songs in the game. They're all between like one and two minutes, but this one's like 45 seconds, so it's playing on a really aggravating loop. So I'm going to build at the base right here. I think that's going to get us out of here just fine. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Now we're going to kind of stretch it out is what I'm trying to do here. And now here comes sort of a luck-based element. There we go. Oh, but he hit his head. See, okay, this is what we don't want happening. We want to build our way out of here. There we go. Thank you, thank you. All right, and uh, is he going to... Yes, he is going to get up there just fine, but there we go. We need guys building to the left. Once they get kind of grouped up like this, it gets really hard to see what's going on sometimes. So uh, you don't want to get too many lemmings crammed in a space at once. Because when you do, it can be hard to build or bash or do whatever you want to do in the direction in which you want to do it sometimes. So uh, I used up 11 builders there. We're not going to get that many the next time we do this level. Uh, we used kind of more than we needed to here. But let's just go ahead and blow up the blocker. This level didn't take as long as I thought it would, actually. So once we blow him up, this level will be over. We'll have saved the proper amount of lemmings. And we will make our way over to the last level of the fun rating, which is where we will stop for today. Alright, and now the final level of fun, which is called Lock Up Your Lemmings. They will fall into this tiny little space here, and you will have to bash in the right direction to get them to the exit. Which is kind of difficult when they're changing direction constantly, but what I like to do is I like to kind of skip a beat after they fall. There we go, ba-bump. 
and then one more time. Ba bump. There we go. Did it without having to use any blockers. Yeah! Woo, go me! So that's the end of the fun rating. They kind of give you this little single screener right here. It's fun and it's simple. Especially if you just kind of go ba bump before you hit that basher and if you start to hesitate then he starts changing direction a lot and it just starts to get really hard and yes i know i'm spoiling things but you'll have to replay this level later and you'll have to just do it with three bashers it's called all or nothing and it's difficult but we gotta go because this level's almost over see you tomorrow